The lack of comfort is the main problem. You might be tossed through the air many times each minute, exit a minecart, or fly across a go-kart track while using an incredibly unstable camera. Players new to VR and those who are prone to motion sickness should think twice before purchasing. It's puzzling why Stress Level Zero provides so few comfort options, especially with such sinuous activities. However, there are a few possibilities such as jerky turning at various angles or sprinting in a path that is parallel to the header hand. The team, however, manages without standard aid like a black border around the edge of the screen or teleportation. Additionally, the seated game is more difficult than other games. This lacks professionalism and is not currently for virtual reality. The graphic design of virtual dreamscapes have received more love. Unfortunately, the level of detail is insufficient to match with recent PSVR 2 games like Horizon Call of the Mountain or even visual highlights like Half-Life Alex. However, the eclectic art design's mingling of several elements create the impression of a varied journey. The game's updated marrow physics and interaction engine are distinguishing features.